Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Blackwell Deception. Okay, let's go ahead and, uh, trick Ryan Jacobs here into thinking that we're in Boston. Ah, uh, that's Antarctica. No, that's apparently Greece. Uh, Gulf of Mexico. There we go. Boston. I think I'll let her do the talking. Those ghost bullets sting. Ah. Hey, get over here. What is it, Joey? Uh, let's, uh, let's chat with Rosanna. Something about this spook just rubs me the wrong way. You're just saying that because he shot you. Well, yeah. The guy is trigger happy. On edge. I, I don't shot like it. you. What's wrong? You're dead. What's it matter? Something about this spook just... You're just... Well, I don't... What kind of compass is this guy using? I don't know. Why? He's going in circles. My blind grandmother would have been a better navigator. Well, he is a... He is dead. I wonder who June could be. A lover? A wife? Maybe, Maybe the cousin. Maybe Ryan just really likes Summer. No. Just... no. Oh, why do you always gotta shoot Rosa down? How'd all that dough end up there anyway? Uh, Maybe we're being rewarded. Property? I doubt it. I wonder if the Grant City Trust knows their money is here. I Should don't I think so. Should I call them and tell them? There might be a reward. Let's take care of business first. Okay. All right, let's get back to it. Yep. Sure. Joey. What is it? Let's How chat with Joey. How is he operating the boat anyway? Is it some kind of mind power, or is he actually manipulating the controls? Does it matter? If that ghost can control the boat, maybe you can too. Exactly. I don't think so. I think this boat is linked to that guy somehow. And even if I could, what do I know about boats? Are we going to have to shoot the boat with our proton packs? Damn it. How is he operating? Is it some... Does it... If that... I don't... And even if... Right, same thing. So we're stuck on this boat until we get to Boston. Boston? We'll be lucky to get to New Jersey at the rate he's going. Ooh, that'd be horrible. Um, Who could June be, I wonder? I haven't the foggiest. Oh, you're just saying that because it's foggy. Do you out. think that money was real? Kid, yeah. don't even think about it. Money doesn't end up in a pile like that accidentally. Something smells dirty about it, and I don't like it. We could always return it. I'm sure there'd be a reward. This my phone is pretty cool. I never would have learned about the Grant City Trust without it. Use that thing often enough, and you won't have to think at all. Hey. That's not nice. That's all for now. Yeah. Excuse me. What do I know you're busy, but so I want to ask you a question again. Now? Are we there yet? No, let's see. According to my... <laughs> Look at that. According to this, we are a mile outside of Boston Harbor. Eh, hey, sweet! I feel like I've been piloting this boat near forever. Kinda have. I've got to go on deck and take a look. What a beautiful sight this is. Oh, maybe that's a bad idea. That uh, might be a bad idea. Okay, can 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 we go stop it? I wouldn't it? know where to begin. I wouldn't know where to... Take the keys out. There's not much I can do with it. I don't need any of these books. Books are always good. Alright, I guess we gotta go out and, uh, confront the guy. Ryan. That's the George Washington Bridge. Yeah, it's in Boston, right? That's right. This isn't Boston. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. How is this possible? How can I still be in New York? I've been piloting this boat for... I don't know how long. I must have left New York waters by now. How long, Ryan? Kind of dead, buddy. Just how long have you been piloting this boat? I said I here forever! I grabbed the money a few hours after closing time. That must have been 9 p.m.? I came straight to the boat, so it's only been a few hours. Right? For all values of all hours that equal many, many weeks. Yeah, sure. I hid the money down below. I set out. And then... Kinda I got killed. sirens. Yep. The harbor police on the bullhorn. They boarded. No, no. They didn't get me. They couldn't have. I was so desperate to get away. I had my gun. I missed. They shot back. That's all I remember. They did get me. I'm sorry, Ryan. For 30 years, they made me bleed. And they finally killed me once and for all. Excuse me. This is a lot to take in. Um. Um. Wait. Wait. What are you doing? 
Joy's tie is used to help lost spirits who are ready to move on. Yeah, I know, game. I know. Ryan? Just leave me alone. Nope. Alright, switch back to Joey. Ty. Hey, Ryan. I'm gonna have to ask you to take this. What is it? It's, it's a tie. you on your way. My way? Yeah. Yes, Ryan. It's time for you to move on. <sighs> Greener pastures. Yes, Elysian fields. It's time. That sort of thing. Don't fall down the vent, please. Thank you. Whee! Oof. Ow. Hey, it's not cobblestoney anymore. I think... I think I went a bit mad. It's all so clear to me now. Yeah? My wife died. Did I tell you about that? No. Her name was June. Yes, cancer. But it wasn't pretty. But when she died, I kind of lost it. My work suffered quite a bit. Maybe they had no choice but to fire me, but I thought that 30 years of service was worth something. Yeah, they should have given you a severance package. I guess package. I was wrong. Strange. Why is this all so obvious to me now that I'm dead? I well, you don't have any of that fleshy still, stuff to get in the way. The bank will never get their money back. I made sure they paid for that, at least. What? You can't you take know it with you. You can't take it with you, right? No, I know exactly what I mean. Then what are you talking about? You'll find out. What? June, if you're out there, I'm coming. I'm coming, Elizabeth! What? What is he talking about? Say, darling, you wouldn't know how to pilot this floating crate, would you? No. Why? Because we've increased speed by, uh, a lot, and we're headed straight towards the Jersey Shore. What? Is that what he meant? What who meant? Not Never Jersey! Mind. Oh, God! All these buttons are Greek to me. What do we do? Can you swim? Maybe? Hopefully. Are there no life jackets? Hey, careful. I'm working on it. Mind the gap. I don't want to look. Oh, God. Oh, God. You ready? No. No. Jump. I'm guessing that we're not getting our money. I can't take you anywhere. I Shut up. I think it's supposed I'm to be wet? the other way around. I'm filthy. And I'm in New Jersey. Ooh. Relax, will you? We save three. another one. Score another point for us. But the money. Yeah. That yacht is completely totaled. The two million bucks as well. We are so not getting paid. Not Damn one it. lead cent. Give me copper. <sighs> Or bronze, zinc, alloy thingy, whatever. Damn it, all that money up in smoke. Should have pocketed a couple. Could have taken them into the uh, uh, bank and returned it anyway. Might have gotten something. Breaking news! So sparkly. Crashed into the New Jersey City dock wall. Fortunately, nobody was injured. Your TV works now? Who'd be calling me now? Your phone Joey, still works? Could you, uh. Right, right. Hello? Hi, is this Rosangela? It is. Yes, who's this? It's been a while. This is Jeremy Sams. Jeremy? Oh, Jeremy, yeah. Are you still at the Village Eye? Oh, God, no. I left there a year ago. I work at the City Post now. Really? That's a big step up. Congratulations. Thanks. I hope that's I not like the New York Post. I actually hope you help me with an article I'm working on. Me? I've come down with the flu or something really bad. I need to follow up on some interviews and the window is closing. Can you help? Come on. You'll be paid and you can share the byline. Well, tell me what it is first. Awesome. Come on over and we'll chat. Thanks a mil, Rosangela. Um... Come on so over, we're moonlighting as reporters now? I used to work with Jeremy. He's okay. And the extra money won't hurt. Yeah. The City Post is a pretty important paper. Maybe they'll want a spiritual news column. Somehow I, I don't doubt think so. It. New phone number, Jeremy Sams. Okay. Got our TV. Got our lava I lamp. I used to stare into that thing for hours. That's... Still do sometimes. 
Seems like a waste of time. I sold most of my books after getting my phone. This thing is perfect for reading on the subway. Oh no, not one of those. It's Griff, the P.I. Bear. He's 30 years old but doesn't look a day over 20. My radio listening day stopped when Joey came along. Eh, it was always podcast. It was here when I moved in. It's probably older than I am. You. This African ghost drum is supposed to keep ghosts away when you play it. It, um, doesn't. Did you tell, uh, um, Joey that? I got this one a few months ago. It's doing pretty well. You mean it's, it's, it, it didn't die right away. That's what you're saying. I've had this one for about ten years now. I suppose it's due for a trim. Nah. My end table, full of random junk. Joey used to screw with my reception, so I finally got cable TV installed. Woohoo! 70 bucks a month and nothing's ever on. Ah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of true. Let's look at the photos. Same photo, can't click on anything. Okay. Can't click on anything. Okay. Out of sight, out of mind. Uh, I don't need anything from those cabinets. But it's an adventure game. There might be stuff in there. We, we might need some detergent or, or towels or random junk. I'll relax later. I can't remember the last time I cooked with that. It's getting to the point where I should put the Chinese takeout place on speed dial. Well, it's not bothering her figure, that's out. You works. never know when you'll need a cup of instant. Wait, you mean coffee? It's a tea kettle. I can't remember the last time I cooked with those. It's getting to the point where I should put... Out of sight. Can we get any... Oh, yeah. A few months ago, they tore down the building across the way. Sweet! They're building another one, but in the meantime, it's nice to have a view. Woohoo! Yay, view! I'll relax later. It doesn't need watering. It's doing fine. I don't need to move it. It's fine where it is. I can't think of anything I'd want to watch. Oh, there might be a bad dinosaur movie on. Come on. My radio listening day stopped when Joe... Those are old first editions. I don't want to... Better leave him alone. I don't want anything to happen to... Better not touch this one. It's precarious enough as it is. Okay. I'm not tired. I don't need anything... Don't need anything from the table, huh? There's nothing in there worth taking. Uh, can't click on anything there. Okay. It's broken, but it looks good on the wall. Really? It's fine. I don't need any of those. Just some old articles, bills, and reminders. Nothing important. Yeah, yeah, bills. Not, not important. That's, that's I good. haven't changed the month in ages. The article is titled... The Rise and Fall of the Meltzer Foundation. I didn't write it, but I did kind of make it happen. Oh, well, it feels it's good at least. It's fine where it is. This building doesn't have a doorman anymore, so they put in these buzzers. Cool. I don't need to buzz in. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. It's fine where it is. No, it's, it's not. I'm going to move everything. I ever wrote for the Village Eye newspaper. Move everything. It was about three college kids who committed suicide. It's fine where... Why is everything fine where it is? I want to move things around. Since I got my phone, I only use this for writing. I don't have time to... And if I need to use the internet, I've got my phone. Oh, fine. Be that way. Hey, Joey, Joey what's up? What's going on? Uh, let's chat. Oh, I think I swallowed about a billion germs in that river. That's Next time you take like a what dip, you do every time. keep your mouth shut. You eat or drink or anything. Oh, I think I... Next. Jeremy texted me his address. Well, let's get going if we're going. Oh, that's handy. Didn't tell me that it did. Jeremy Tech. Well. Ah, got no no more notes. That's Goodbye, all Joey. for now. Yeah. This thing gets bigger every time I look at it. It's gonna take over the room if she's not careful. Oh, it's not Infinity Vine. I'm surprised that thing hasn't collapsed into a pile of moldy fluff by now. Well, stuffed animals are pretty Some resilient. Some old books she doesn't want to part with. It's a radio, I think. Tackiest thing I've ever seen. Ah, oh, you're just jealous of the One of those windows line. that folks call televisions. 
Can you do anything with the picture? No. Okay. I'm gonna guess that the same thing holds Nothing true. Much in those things. I don't know why she keeps this. She's not exactly musically inclined. Do you realize it's a ghost Brightens drum? Brightens up the place, I suppose. Nothing on there but junk. It's a kettle. You expecting something else? Yes. Just cooking stuff. Just the kitchen. T Not bad. That's Not bad. all you have to say? Just between you and me, I think I'll stay inside. Aw, I want you to go outside. In the interest of domestic harmony, I don't enter her bedroom uninvited. Well, that's actually kind of nice. The bedroom door. Nope, still a ghost. It's the calendar for last April. What month is it now? Just some old papers. It's one of them computer things. An article about one of our old cases. It's a poster for a movie called Water Under the Bridge. Don't know why she saves these old articles. Oh, she come hated on. working for that rag. Yeah, but it's still her own work. It's a door buzzer. Alright, I guess we, uh... Just gonna leave. Uh, let's see. Still got business cards. That's about it. I can call Jeremy. That's the only phone number she has on her phone right now, apparently. Good times. Oh. I'm gonna wander around in the hall. Aww. It's I'm disappointed. Come on in. I'll be out in a sec. Is this how high-rolling reporters live nowadays? Hmm? Oh. Sorry, Sorry about that. that. I, haven't I haven't been feeling, feeling well, as I said. Who's, Who's your friend? friend? Is something wrong? Ah, oh, damn it. What Jeremy, happened? What happened to you? Happened? Nothing, Nothing happened. happened. I got no. sick. I just caught a nasty bug or something. Horrible timing. I, I, I don't of something think so. Really big. That's why I need your help. How did you call you need me? Our help, all right. Sorry, but who are you? I'm with her. This is Joey. He's kind of my boyfriend. Friend. Friend. And he just tagged along. He tags along everywhere. Yes, it's kind of his thing. I see. Well, it's nice to meet you, Joey. I like the hat. Anyway, how about we get down to business? Sure. Let's ask Are him you about sure that. There's nothing else wrong with you. It's, it's just the flu. flu. Nothing, nothing to worry about. about. Yeah, I'll be flu. fine in a few days. I just want to get this article submitted before. I've it's never too late. quite felt that bad with the flu. All right, Jeremy, tell me about this article of yours. Brilliant. I knew you wouldn't let me down. Do you know where the City Post news office is? I think so. This flu is making it hard to remember everything, but I kept pretty good notes. Can you get them for me? Go there and tell them I sent you. My notebook is on my desk. Can you I get them for myself, me? myself, but... Yeah, the not flu. Not exactly up to snuff. Yeah. Snuff is the word. Joey! What? So what do you say? Will you help me? Yes, of course I'll help. It's what I do. So, so Joey, you're allowed to make bad puns, but, but Rosa isn't. Is that the way this is, this is going? Uh, what Remind do you need again? Me. What do you need me to do again? The first thing is go over to the City Post news office and grab my notes from my desk. Oh, you're... We'll take it from there. Desk there. The receptionist should let you in. I'll call her and tell her you're on your way. How do you make the phone calls? I used to work with Jeremy back in the Village Eye days, and now he's dead. Not exactly the way I envisioned seeing him again. So, Jeremy, tell me about yourself. We never got much of a chance to talk back then. Me? Um, I was born upstate, moved here after college, wrote freelance for a bunch of papers, including the Village Eye. Not much else to tell, really. And now you're dead. Fantastic. Well, I better get going. Yep. Thanks. I really appreciate this, Rosangela. Uh-huh. Yeah, look, you can call me Rosa. All right. Rosa it is, then. <sighs> it's been a few years since I saw him. He looks exactly the same. I guess he always will now. Other than being transparent. Lots of nonfiction and books by journalists. 
Those look like articles Jeremy wrote for the City Post. None from the village I, though. Can't say I blame him. You kept some of yours. I don't need any of those. Jeremy's desk is neat as a pen. He always was a bit of a neat freak. Can we look in it? There's nothing on Jeremy's desk worth taking. Oh, harsh. Pile of photographs. Oh my god. Is that me? I mean, us? Yeah. yeah. You remember the 05 Christmas party? No. Yeah, that was a while ago. Oh, I guess she I does. was going through some old pictures when I came across yours. That's why I thought to call you. I see. This was really five years ago? I barely remember it. Anything? For some reason I thought something else popped up there. No, I guess not. It's Jeremy, back when he was alive. I don't even remember getting this picture taken. Yeah, it looks about the same, too. Ugh, what a horrible picture of me. <laughs> uh, probably one of those people like me who uh, every picture is a horrible picture. Can I take the pile of photographs? This no. was really five years ago? I never hey, knew Jeremy was so religious. Oh, I'm not. Not really. It belonged to my grandmother. Oh, okay. Then why do you have I'm not here to loot Jeremy's stuff. That's just morbid. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. I've done it in plenty the of hustle games. hustle and bustle of 23rd Street. A bit noisy, but it's nice to look at. If you say so. Can we He's look around? He's tacked up a bunch of newspaper articles in this thing. He's got the byline on all of them. Must be proud of himself. Well, that's kind of what people do. He's tacked up. He's got the byline. I can't touch it. Not a bad view. Maybe when this is over, we can squat here for a while. Ooh, fun times. Looks like a normal desk to me. The books look like they've been read several dozen times. Young guy about Red's age. Looks the bookish type. He seems pretty bright. For a spook, anyway. Uh, I don't know. He's kind of dim. Kind of sepia. It's what they call art, I guess. I'm pretty sure that it is art. What am I supposed to do? Sing to it? Sure, why not? Boy, if I could touch it, that would sure be great. She keeps stealing glances at that Jeremy fella. We'll chat later. She looks like she's got enough on her mind. Can we look Nothing that can help it. Nothing that can help it. Oh. Uh, can we talk to Jeremy? I think for once, I'll let the kid field this one. She's the one with the history. Okay. Ooh, light Just switch. the light switch. What do you want me to do, scare it? Yes, scare the light switch. I don't need to turn the lights back off. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't go in there. Why not? It's the just bedroom your bedroom. Is a total sty. I've been too sick to clean up. Yeah. Sure. No problem. Okay. Well, let's uh, let's go ahead and leave. Hey, look. Before you go, I just want to, well, apologize. Oh, what for? I know it's a bit weird calling you up and asking you such a big favor like this. Ah, it's okay. Don't it's... worry about it. You're dead. When you know I'm you can't. This flu, I'll yeah, flu. It up to you. Flu. I promise. Uh -huh. No, you don't have to do that, really. Just plus, you can't. Just take care of yourself. Well, that was unexpected. Tell yeah, me about I it. I suppose. You know where that newspaper office is? Yeah. Then let's hop to it. I I'm not hopping. You know, not hopping. I'll skip, maybe, but no hopping. Hmm? Could I help you? Yes, you can. The City Post. What do you know about Jeremy Sams? Jeremy? He works here. His office is just up there on the second floor, but I haven't seen him in a few days. So you don't know where he is now? I have no idea. If you'd like to leave him a message, I'll let him know you stopped by. Uh, can I we go inside? I was told you'd be expecting me. My name is Rose Angela Blackwell. Sorry, I wasn't told anything. Oh, really? you're out of the loop, I huh? I need to go inside and pick up some notes. Sorry, but if you don't have permission to be here, I can't let you in. I have permission. I really do need to see Jeremy's notes. Maybe you could get them for me? No, I can't. Hmm. You're not being very helpful here, do lady. Do you know anything about Jeremy's death? Huh? Jeremy's death. I'm kind of looking into it. Jeremy's dead? Are you serious? Yes. You mean you don't know? Of course not. What happened to him? I'm not sure. What do you mean you're not sure? How did he die? What happened? I don't know. Where is he now? I don't know. Right. 
This is sick. I think you should get out of here before I call security. That's my girl, making friends wherever she goes. It's not my fault people are unfriendly. Could I ask you a few questions? I don't think so, no. Just leave, please. Damn it! I'll be going, I guess. Bye. You're just kind of rude there, lady. I'm guessing that's where Jeremy's desk is. Well, that's a pretty spiffy office for, uh... I can't see much from down here, but I think it says Junior Reporters. Well... I'm guessing that's where Jeremy's desk is. Still, it seems like a pretty nice place. Uh... City the Post. City Post. Um, where would I put it? Over the TV? Absolutely! And what would I do with it exactly? Put it over the TV as I well. I can't get through that door from down here. Um, what do you think you're doing? Going upstairs. Using the elevator? Not unless I buzz you in first. And in case you okay. hadn't noticed, I'm not doing that. Damn it! Nothing. Um, no. I'll wait till we're alone. Alright. Is it normal for such a young woman to be working this late? Hmm, she must need the money. Uh, they might need 24-7 uh, support. Just a desk phone. Cub reporters are usually on the lower floors. I'm guessing that's where Jeremy worked. Can we go up there? Yeah, we can. Leads into an office. Can we go in there? I'm not just gonna float through any random door I see. Oh, I would totally do that if I were a ghost. I'd go into every single door there was. So much Looks fun. like a press pass. Can't I take guess it. there's nothing stopping me from doing that except for my nearly complete lack of physical existence. Well, stop holding your ectoplasmic form uh, uh, psionic power then. I can't touch it. An office cubicle, empty. Leads into an office. I can't make heads or tails out of what this says. What do you, you want me to do? Scare it? Yes, scare it. Scare the whiteboard. It's the notebook that Jeremy asked us to find. It's closed right now. I can't read what's inside. Ah, shucks. I wish I could, but I can't pick it up. Well, we could probably, uh, blow it. I rustled the pages a bit, but it's not going anywhere. Dang it. Not sure what blowing on that will achieve. Fun profit? Alright, doesn't look like anything else, uh, to do here. So go ahead and leave. Maybe we can wander around a little bit more. Uh, down the There's hall? There's nothing down that hallway I need to see. Ow. Oh. There's nothing down that hall. It says Junior Reporters. That must be where Jeremy's desk is. Okay. Ooh, waterfall. Snazzy. I guess that kind of thing impresses some people. But not you, in other words. What do you want me to do? Blow on it? Sure. Hehehehe. <laughs> No reaction. I guess with the door open like that, a breeze is nothing new. Oh. All right. Let's switch back. Maybe we can use. The phone. I have my own phone. Okay. Hi, you've reached Jeremy Sands. Please leave a message. Huh. Alrighty, um, well, probably need to head back to Jeremy and talk to him, let him know that uh, he didn't call, because he's dead. But uh, we'll do that in the next episode. Uh, see you then, everyone.